Twas the night before Christmas, and in this strange place, there was one creature stirring, making last-minute gifts in her favorite space. Oh, this creature surely was stirring, and mixing, and melting, and wrapping, and pouring. Handcrafted herbal gifts, being made with love and care, gifts made with healing herbs would surely be nice to share. Chamomile, calendula, hips and petals of the rose. This oil will be used for the face and healthy skin that glows. The other herbal oils were to be made into salves that soothe and heal. One made with arnica, comfrey root, leaves, and the flowers of chamomile. The other made from yarrow, plantain, and self-heal too. The herbs were left to sit overnight with some alcohol soaking through. All right, I'm gonna stop with the rhyming now. <laughs> For the past few years, I have been making homemade gifts to give on Christmas, crafted mostly from herbs that were grown in our garden or wild crafted nearby. These herbs, which I already consider gifts from this lovely garden planet, bring me so much joy to work with and being able to share this joy in the form of handcrafted gifts always makes the holiday season a little more fun. The first oil that I finished was strained and bottled as is to be used as a luxurious face and body oil. Jojoba oil infused with chamomile, calendula, rose hips, and rose petals makes an amazing face oil that I like to put on my face before bedtime. It keeps the skin moisturized and gives a healthy glow. It is definitely one of my new favorite concoctions. The salve which I made with comfrey and arnica is my absolute favorite salve that I make to be used for achy joints and muscles. This salve is always helpful when it's thoroughly massaged into the affected area. Both arnica and comfrey are tried and true remedies for pains and inflammation in the muscles and joints. From year to year, I add some different herbs into the mix, but one I always use with this comfrey and arnica is chamomile. Because it is calming in nature, it adds a really nice scent, and it is also anti-inflammatory. The other salve is one that I make with plantain, yarrow, and self-heal, which I use all the time for minor cuts, burns, bug bites, and other skin irritations. It is so satisfying having a table full of handcrafted herbal products. It reminds me of when I used to sell herbal skincare products about seven years ago. I really enjoyed making these soaps, salves, and other products, but creating my own infused oils with medicinal herbs has really been a game changer when it comes to making natural skincare products and remedies for my friends and family. I feel that these creations are so much better than the ones that I made in the past. Instead of buying a bunch of pre-made oils and mixing them together, I am learning about each plant more in depth, growing them from seed or wild harvesting some from the land, utilizing their medicinal properties, and testing out new creations on myself. This whole process makes me feel closer to nature, and the environmental impact of these products are much less compared to my old ones, which involved purchasing lots of essential oils and using mostly plastic packaging. I was so excited to get the printer back to printing labels like I used to, but when I went to print them, we were too low on ink. So I hand wrote the labels, which actually didn't come out too bad, I packaged them in boxes that were a little too big, but I added some nice touches within the box to fill it out a bit more. I had some wild crafted holiday decor, which I harvested around Thanksgiving. Rose hips, holly branches, and white pine needles. These plant materials added such a lovely holiday feel to the gifts, and I thought it was suiting since I really enjoy working with rose hips as well as white pine. I am really happy with how these came out, and I hope that the people receiving these gifts will enjoy them as much as I did making them. Well, that's all for now. I am really excited to have filmed my gift making process. I know this video was more for entertainment purposes, but please feel free to ask any questions about the herbs that I use or the process of making them into oils and salves. Happy holidays, everybody, and I'm wishing you all health, happiness, and peace in this new year. <laughs>